That's a good day of catching right there. <laughs> Number one. That was nice. <coughs> cell phone charging up in the truck right now so I don't have a clock with me but I'm gonna head out after the two I just snapped everything off on that last one um, but yeah two more two more beautiful salmon let me show you Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> I've got the ice chest up in the truck. I'm just going to haul these up there um, and throw them in the ice chest and back. Then head over to Brother Will's house, process them out there. Uh, he's got the um, cryovac machine over there that I could use to seal everything up. Uh, but that's it for me on this trip. Let's see how many more we catch. So far, the score is Sean four, salmon zero. <laughs> it's been a good week. give you an idea how big they actually are. <laughs> so this one's just a, a little one, but and this one, nice, very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna get dressed, uh, throw my shoes on, and I guess I'm heading over to Brother Will's house to process these fish. Um, nice, very cool.
Okay, there's two ways I learn. Uh, number one is watching somebody else do it. Well, three ways, I guess. Two is um, being told how to do it or reading how to do it. And then three is doing it. So I'm kind of lucky in that I could do all three. So This is a the method I came upon watching a guy do it, and I really like the way that it worked for him. So, cutting down. Cutting up. Don't worry about my hand in front of the knife because I'm not putting enough pressure on it for that knife to ever escape me. Nice female, here's some row. Okay, so then you don't have to trim anything off here. No, no, no fins or anything. Go underneath this fin, right? And then I kind of curve it around the head so that I can get as much of that meat as I possibly can. And I bring it all the way down to where I made that cut on the bottom, okay? And I want it to go all the way to the bone up here. Then dragging that knife holding the head and dragging that knife right across the bones on the inside. Uh, you bugger. You're going to make a liar out of me here, aren't you? Right, and then your fillet is done. And that's pretty much the easiest way that I've um, seen to do it. Now you could take these eggs, um, and Simple Living Alaska does this. I've never tried it. Um, they make ca caviar out of these. <laughs> I've never tried doing it before. So I'm just gonna leave everything in here, and I'm just gonna take the whole fish, and I'm gonna turn the fish over, okay? So now, I'm gonna pull that front fin up again. I'm gonna cut here. And then I'm going to work it around the head. So I'll pretty much end up pretty close to the same place I was over here. And then I'm going to start the knife again underneath until I get on that bone ridge. And then once I get on that bone ridge, I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. I'm going to keep the blade tight up against the bone all the way down to the tail and get that off and then there is fillet number two and that was a big fish too there was a, there's a lot of I mean basically there's not a lot of meat left over here there's quite a bit of meat left over in the head but I don't eat that so let me rinse this off. Well, we'll finish cleaning this out. So then, right here, you're seeing that little bit of black there. It's actually blood from the fish. And then the whiter part down here is a great deal of bones. So what I'm doing here is just kind of cleaning off that layer of bone. And getting it all down to pretty meat. And, and this will give you a good example of why they call sockeyes reds. Oh, Will should be pulling in any minute. Okay, we got a nice cleaned up fillet there. There's still bone in here, but you, if, you, if you really want to deal with it, you can pull them out with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. Same thing on here. This was our first one, and for some reason, my first one is always better than my second one.
Play number two. Quick rinse. Can keep those ones wet down there. Then from here, you cut them down into whatever size you want. Um, for just me. I'm not going to leave them in full fillets. So what I'll do is I'll go right there, right there, and then right there. Let you see what we're looking at for the meat there. Is that beautiful or what? That is just gorgeous. You can can this, you can smoke this, you can do whatever you want. Um, I like to throw it on the grill with a little bit of butter and maybe some dill. Or in this case, uh, since I've got some growing at home, maybe we'll do some oregano in there. I like it smoked. I love it smoked. Oh. But I smoke it to the dry side, almost to what they call squaw candy. Uh, but very, very flaky and dry because, number one, it lasts a whole lot longer when you do that. And number two, it's just a great snack. And then you can make salmon dip out of it that way and everything else. All right, rinse off my knife. Rinse off the ice chest. Pick off the fish. There you have it. Did you ever find boxes? Hey, that. Make a yeah. Is that that piece of line? Couple times. You know, uh, yeah. Good morning from rainy, rainy Alaska. Holy smokes, it started raining at about bedtime last night, about, I don't know, about 7.30, quarter to 8, and uh, it has been a torrential downpour all night long. I went catching yesterday, so my total for the year so far is seven. I got three yesterday, um, and thinking about going out again today, depending on what happens with the weather and uh, whether or not it calms down. I just thought I'd check in. I haven't done this in a while. You can tell it's pretty dark out here in Alaska. Again, the nights have returned. Um, that's it for me. Have a great day, guys. I'm Sean in Alaska. Talk to you later. I need some coffee and I need to get to work. Out fishing again this week. I'm with Susan. Susan and I fished uh, yesterday down at the Funny River, confluence of the Funny River and the Kenai River, Funny River campgrounds. And then Susan came up here today to fish. And Susan had a good fish day. Here, step over this way in the in the light, Susan. I'll let everybody see what you had. Sockeye, sockeye, and little silver. 
Not a bad string or three fish right there, huh? Beautiful, beautiful. Right on. I'm gonna get a rod and throw it in the water myself and see if I can't catch something here. All right, I just got here. Just took some pictures of Susan's fish. I have not wet a rod today. So, let's see if I can catch anything. Oh, that water just doesn't get any warm. Holy smokes, day after day. Susan, did you leave any fish in the river for me? Nope. I think so. I saw some jumping. Yeah, let's see if I can get one on like a first cast. Really? Holy smokes, I guess so, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you go. Are you going to get the stick? No, I just walk, walk him up. what they do. Walk him up. Come to this side of the camera and just walk him up to the beach. There you go, just back up. Hooked him right on the nose too, nice. She beat me. For now. That was a nice fish. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Season four, Sean Season four, three. Sean three. Season four today, Sean zero. Nice little silver salmon. He's a little angry at me right now. <laughs> so we're fishing for sockeye, but landed silvers because silvers are in the river right now as well. And that is salmon number eight 
for the day. So two for me, six for Susan. Crazy, crazy. Just talking a minute ago and you guys didn't hear any of it about how I didn't want to leave the camera on because the batteries uh, there's no guarantee that I'm gonna catch a fish before the battery goes dead and then uh, after I lost all my stuff and got snagged I walked back up there and sure enough the battery was dead and none of that came through so this is flipping right you're just gonna take your line flip it out Work it back across, and then pull it back in. And I don't have enough weight on there, so I'm going to throw a little bit more weight on here. Um, I'll leave the camera on for as long as I can um, without the battery going dead, and then I'll show you um, what's happened so far today. Uh, but it's July 31st, the last day of July. Uh, worked on the chicken coop this morning, and uh, decided went to town. Saw people were catching some fish but it was packed everywhere I looked, so I came back to this spot that I have really not had a lot of luck um, fishing at before. So, um, it's changed. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, let me just show you here real quick, just in case the camera goes dead. That's so far today. Two, you're allowed three. That first one, that first one was a big one. 